Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is a new video and I hope you enjoy. The supervillain team, the Frightful Four, the perfect villain team to the Fantastic Four. The Frightful Four, what always surprised me is how rarely this team was used, sometimes going years between appearances. Also, the fact they couldn't keep a consistent fourth member just enhanced the group as being interesting to me. Fantastic Four G36 was the first appearance of the Frightful Four. The first one was made up of Wizard, Trapster, Sandman, and Medusa. Reed Richards and Sue Storm publicly announced their engagement to the press, giving them a, a bunch of attention, and this starts the issue out. The Sandman and Trapster have busted out of prison, Trapster being called Pastepot Pete, and they see the Wizard floating in midair. Sandman grabs him and that actually saved his life since he was stuck and could have suffocated. They decide to together work together to destroy the Fantastic Four. All three of these villains were previously defeated just by the Human Torch, in Sandman's case in his second appearance ever, Flint Marco was defeated by the Torch single-handedly. The wizard tells them he has a fourth member, a woman named Medusa. She can control her long strands of hair and has lost her memory. This is her first appearance, the future wife of Black Bolt and the inhuman superhero, but here she is a villain. After the engagement party with the Avengers and the X-Men, the Frightful Four make their attack after the party goers leave, ambushing and incapacitating the Thing, the Invisible Girl, and Mr. Fantastic. To get rid of the heroes, the wizard places anti-gravity discs on them to send them to space to kill them. The torch is gone for the moment and saves them at the end. The Sandman is back, one of my favorite Spider-Man villains, and in a new shirt somehow, and is going to fight the Fantastic Four. At this time, Sandman is written more as just a super-powered threat. The wizard creates his iconic pink flying suit here, making a first appearance. He can fly using his anti-gravity discs, but here, it looks really silly. And Medusa is a member of this supervillain group for a while. She has amnesia, but later becomes a superhero with the Inhumans. But here, she's treated as a threat like the other members. The best part is seeing the Fantastic Four fight the Frightful Four here. The FF recognize the Sandman and remember the other members, and also try to find out what's up with Medusa. It's interesting to see that, and all while they fight these villains with all their different powers being used. The Fantastic Four and the X-Men are shown here. It's a cool panel with all these superheroes in the same room. I miss the early days where stuff like this didn't happen every month. And one thing to focus on for me is Spider-Man makes a sneaky cameo here. And to note, Jack Kirby was so against strong Spider-Man, he only did his arm. Also, that ship that arrives that makes Spidey leave fast is the Frightful Four's travel. Yes, at the end, the Torch does save all his team members, but the Frightful Four escape until next time. I give this a 10 out of 10. I love seeing the interactions between the supervillains and especially learning more about Sandman and Medusa. Thank you all for watching and have a good day.